There he is, look! I'm okay, oh we're my god, that's done that! Oh my gosh. Hi, art friends. Yo. What have we got today? What is this? This is gonna be a pretty hype video because I've been wanting to talk about this for like almost a year on our channel. This was a birthday present that I got from your boy Adamo over here. It might look like a tiny little plastic box, but it is actually a little printer. And it doesn't use ink. It uses thermal ah! technology yeah. to print things. So the whole shtick with this is that once you've bought it, the only thing you have to purchase for it is the papers that are made for it. Mm -hmm. And then outside of that, you never have to pay for ink, which we all know ink can be pretty expensive. It does have like its pros and cons and we'll get into those yeah, later yeah. on in the video, but I am excited to show you what this little fella can do. Hey, you. What you got there? Okay, I'm excited to show you because <laughs> I know normally papers wouldn't seem like that exciting of a technology, but... Oh, but these, hun. Yeah. These are something else. They're excited if you... They're excited. Each one is a different type of, like, sticker paper. And there's a reason so, for that, right? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that this one here is the gold one. I can tell with that one. So in this box, we have got the transparent, the gold, and a white glitter. And apparently these ones, it says, we have like a two years... A two year like lifespan. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We should quickly explain that because this printer uses heat, and you might see here, that these kind of look like receipt. Like, you know when you go shopping, you get a receipt? Yeah, that's exactly like the technology of how it works. Yeah, and that's why if you ever f come across like an old receipt and it's faded, it's the same sort of thing. It's such a cute little thing as well, I uh, love it. There's all kinds mm -hmm. of like quirky ones you can get. You can get like colored patterned ones, you can do uh, little labels to put on things. A few some cute little washi tapes just to- Yes, uh, yeah, you've been using these, haven't hold you? These look together. at that. I love the little castle one, that's from a- uh, Flying tiger, right? I recognize that one. We live in a very small little one bedroom like apartment, hence why we're sat making this on the bed. We don't have other space really to film videos <laughs> have, around here. We have no other rooms. <laughs> <laughs> that aside, that is a big reason why we don't have a cricket yeah. machine, which I know everyone uses for like making stickers, but there's just not the space in this place to have a cricket. As soon as I found out there was a little sticker printer, you don't have to worry about ink refills or anything, and this oh, is the size of that. Look how small it is, it's a baby. To charge it, we just use this little USB cable. Chances are, guys, you've got one of those lying like, around. Lying around the it's house. It's very common. Of it. It's a pretty common. To turn it on, you just press this button here. Oh my god, it's glowing. Yeah, and that's how you know that it's on. Then you just hold it in to turn it off. And that's literally like all the functionality that you do with like the... The printer itself, because it's all done through Bluetooth. Show me the app, honey. We'll have to like go through each one sort of individually because there's so many different things. There's tons of like little Ooh. templates and stuff where you can like write stuff in. Watercolor. Watercolor. <laughs> there we go. Watercolor. So you could use this to label and organize your art supplies. It is really common that I've seen it used in the journaling community. So Ooh. if you want to sort of uh, do like a bullet journal or something, or uh, the way I'm also use it, and I'm excited to sort of show you guys, is in sort of like an arts and craftsy collagey sketchbook decorate oh, kind of way. That's aesthetic, that is fun. <laughs> Medicine identification. So See, I mean, obviously we're doing it from an artist's perspective, but the amount of options that are in there that are genuine, like, helpful day-to-day -day things is super impressive. It does come with like a bunch of, um, pre-built in like templates. Oh look so, at that. Oh I love the scroll one. That's awesome. Yeah so you can print these out and then like draw on them. I really <gasps> like the can. I might do something oh, with you that. You can design your own can. And these all come with it, yeah? Yeah this all comes with it like once oh, you've paid is. for it. That's awesome. You can kind of make your own like style of Polaroid as well with these ones like the ones with borders and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah there's even one that looks kind of like a little Instagram like frame and then you can like draw a journal or write a list or something See, so we've got like the post it not oh, stack the oh. to-do lists if you want to print one of those oh, out and stick it in. I like that. I, I tell you I love the frames. I really like Yeah them. I really like all the it, they've got like all the little cutesy aesthetic going on as yeah, well like yeah. that tiny little cute bear. Oh uh, be so tiny. Oh you can even make a little business card. There's even ways that you can 
do stuff in this. Yeah, so if you wanted to, you could draw like in the you act. Draw straight in it. Drawing this with my finger at a weird angle. We, but... lo we love SCP teddy bear. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we, we're not going to look at him anymore. Uh, another thing that I have used this for is yes. um, you can go to your own photo. That's like... so cool that you can print off photos though. Okay, this is a, a sewing pattern thing that I've been working on. Oh, it's patches! Oh well, there, there we go. So we've got concept <laughs> and finished friend. Oh, we, oh, we do. He's a bit flat. Come here. <laughs> oh, look at him. That's so cute, look at that! Now you will notice that with the filter things, it's a good idea if you can put it in the black and white one, because these do only print in black and white, which might be like a drawback, but you can use some like art supplies to colour them in afterwards. Yeah, they, the paper ones take really well to markers, don't they? Because you did a little experiment in it. Yeah, I've been colouring mine in with markers. Just a quick example. Oh, I'm so ready! We've got the little print button up here that I'm just going to give that a little... Poke that print button, honey. Poke. Ah, ah. Here it comes! There he is! Look, and look how oh, really that's done that! Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's another thing. It's like instant. Yeah, and then you just... Yeah, it has little serrated teeth. Yeah, so nom, you nom. pull it off at the other end. Show me, show me, show me. Look at that! And that, you know, that's the perfect one to colour in. Yahoo time to draw our own stickers. <laughs> I'm using a scrap page in my sketchbook because I had a page where a ton of the watercolour bled through. Uh, here's an update on what I did with that page. You know, that turned out great. You were Steph was really not enjoying that one, but I think the edits you did look great. Anyway, this is my scrap piece of paper that I am working with. Yes. I have sketched out a bunch of uh, designs in pencil. And because I'm on quite like a sewing high recently, I want to just quickly ink up some little sewing illustrations. And I think it'll be nice to do maybe sort of an illustrated journal page talking about like my little sewing activities that I've been doing recently. Just been having like an aesthetic little photo shoot and I've brought in one of like my current sewing projects that isn't finished yet and one of my all-time favorite things at the moment is my little button box. Oh my you're such a magpie oh my god. Let me just talk about how cute your little uh what is it a needle catcher? I don't a know what you call them. needle catcher? What do you call them? It's a pin cushion. Oh is that what oh it god. is? I've always wanted one of these because the way them on the project runway <laughs> Feel that no that one is very cute though. I love that it's like a little flower. Isn't that sweet? I'm just really quickly erasing my pencil lines off these sketches. Oh yeah, you gotta make them look nice and clean, yeah. Yeah, otherwise those little pencil lines will show up. I think Adam's going with the pencil aesthetic well, for I, his. I figured like because Steph has inked hers, as you've seen, with mine, I wanted to try and use just pencil. Well, you guys know I'm very heavy-handed as it is, but I want to see how it comes up with just pencil. So I've drawn like a character, I've drawn Steph, some popes, I've drawn some guinea pigs. I feel like it's quite well varied. Are you going to walk me through editing these bad boys? Yeah, this is something that I want to quickly do. You don't have to do this because you'll be able to cut around the sticker with scissors. I'm but... sorry, but if you're doing the bum peg, it needs to be the best. Uh, something that I found that you can do is if you like use the... Like most of the fonts come with sort of like a picture editing tool so that you can like blur out addresses so Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. So I'm just using like a white marker thing to just sort of go around like the... Oh, so you're getting rid of like the drawings around it and any like blemishes? Yeah, because oh, otherwise so you're going to get um, other parts of it in this. Because I did draw them quite close together, I was worried about that. But that's actually pretty smart, hun. Yeah, so that's my editing tip of the day. She ain't just a pretty face, is she? Mm. 
Oh, it's looking beautifully cut out now. Whoa. Okay, yeah, so I've scribbled around it. Like I said, this is unnecessary. You don't have to do this. It's just, um, if you want to get some really sort of like professional looking oh, stickers, look yeah, then it's oh my God, whoa. whited out Please everything see. else. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> well, and considering that was with pencil, I don't think that looks too bad at all. Now I'm feeling very fancy, so normal paper ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few other ones here, so let's uh, try out some of the others. Oh yeah, let me... Oh yeah, we're running low on this one anyway, so... Yep. Let's pop this bad boy out and put this one in. Press here, and then... Here she comes! Oh, look at that, you did such a cool job! Oh wow, that looks great, hun! Now put a mystery paper in, yeah, so I don't know what it's gonna be. Can't remember which paper this is, but they all do different things, so let's just print out one of Adam's stickers <laughs> and see what happens. I love the surprise element, hun. Oh, it's a glittery one. Oh, and it's you! Yeah, so that one's like a... It's kind of silvery. Oh, yeah, it's I sort of like sure. a silvery... Oh, you can kind of see it there. It's very subtle, but it's very pretty. Okay, I've edited up my sticker design. So here is Doodly Derek. I oh, doodled it, huh? He's normally in the bottom corner of our videos down here telling you to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint. Okay, so let's go to print. And this one is the one that prints in blue ink, and I'm excited for you guys to see this one. Here it comes. <laughs> I think that's so cool. That looks awesome. That's come out great. He wants you to subscribe. He wants it so bad. Okay. Technical issue. Yeah, we've bumped into an issue. It was something that I learned in the past when I was using this before and I forgot and now Adam's uh, bumped into it again. Because <laughs> you want to go around and like cut it out for when you're doing it. Which is what I was doing. Yep, which Adam has been doing. It can be a nightmare to uh, try and peel it afterwards. So it's a good idea of see how like on this edge, there's like a, a <gasps> little- There's a tab, yeah. There's like a pull tab to it. So if you cut it out and you cut it with like a little pull tab to the side of it, basically. Okay. And then that way you can, uh, I'll really roughly just cut this out to show you. And then it gives you like a little tab to be able to pull really oh, easily. It is, yeah. And oh then you God, can really so quickly easier. just cut this off. Yes, yeah, 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 when you actually stick it in. So that's <gasps> that's my hack. So Otherwise, you end up with uh, little fiddly stickers like Adam's got here, and it's like... It's just sad. <laughs> like, I can't get that off. I might have to washi tape it in. If you get this, <laughs> leave a tab. Oh my god, yeah. otherwise you'll be sad. Listen to your friend Steph over here. Sticker master. <laughs> What you got there? So this was uh, the wrapping on my Q Tito plush that we opened in the previous Artex vs. Ahuhu marker video. Oh, you did? I thought this would be cute to one, cover up this page here. Oh, so you're gonna like cover it up completely? Yeah, because um, the markers like bled through on that side, so it means I've got like a little memento from that video. Oh, that's cute, which yeah. Which I can like stick in here. I like that. And then hmm. I can maybe stick some of like my stickers on top of this. Ooh. Also made this little label that says sawing with a pillow because I thought that was kind of like something that you might saw. Oh, that's cute, yeah. Oh. This one's got sort of like, a, it's not fully transparent. It's like a, a semi transparent. Oh, look. so we'll be able to see the donuts. Yeah, through it. Through it. Let's yeah. Have a look. Oh yeah, you, can, you totally can. Let's yeah, look at that. Overlap like that. Oh, I like that. Let me... I have to admit though, this this little this little thing, the printer itself, is like easily one of the most like exciting. Like, uh, is it classed as an art supply? I'm not even sure what you'd call it, but well, it's, it's so exciting to use. It's such a fun little sticker maker because we have done another sticker maker video on this channel before. Which after this video, you're gonna have to check it out. Yeah, yeah, that one's very mono. You have to do everything yourself, but it's very <laughs> charming as well. I think it's uh, a cute little thing. But this, it's so small and it connects to your phone. Like, I mean, look at look at it. It's tiny. That's a, this. You can literally take this anywhere have a doodle or take pictures, whatever you want to do, and uh, print them off, like give them to your friends, make a cute sketchbook page or whatever. Like you can do so much with it. I'm just so genuinely impressed with it. This is not an exact science, but um, coloring in a 
pink circle down here. And then, so, oh, overlay in it. Oh, that's genius. Keep realizing that it's going like much further <laughs> over than I'm anticipating. There oh, we go. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Look at it. I am quite impressed. Like, um, I want to try and get as close as possible to it. Uh, Cause again, this is just like thermal paper, but the markers are taken to it surprisingly well. I am noticing with the blue one, I've got to be careful not to go over the lines because it seems to... Is it bleeding? It, no, it seems to like more so like fade when the marker ink goes over it. So I'm just trying to like avoid... Oh, but again, you use it, are you using the Copic? Yeah, I wonder, Copic. I wonder if the alcohol's like messing with it. It might be, but I've never had the issue with uh, the darker coloured ones, which are... Oh, okay. Oh, that's beautiful, though. Sure it's such like a uh, a scrapbook page, would you call it? I just really that's like how it looks. Kind of the vibe of the sketchbook that I've been doing recently, just as like a sneak peek. I've been putting, sticking like oh. lots of papers and things in, so it's a very journaly kind of vibe. It's adorable, honey. Check out this video on the other sticker maker we've tried, and don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you for another doodle date. Ta -da!